Okay, guys, welcome back. Look, coasted mold time. Right. Um, oh, using another resin. I, I've used this once before when I did my three tier cake stand, the U resin. And it is U resin cast, so a two to one. This is the one. <laughs> the other one's a big bottle, so I've left it over there because it's heavy. So I have got, um, part A, I've got 285 grams, and part B, I've got 125 grams. So 420 grams all up, and that should be plenty for six coasters. So it's it's a nice thin resin. Look at it, it's hardly any bubbles in there. Oh my gosh, I used one the other day, and it was so bubbly. Now, I want to do greens and copper. I haven't done copper lately, and I'm going to use my copper leafing pen to do the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three with copper around the outside, and then dark green and light green. And then these three will be opposite. They'll have the copper in the middle, and then the light green, and then the dark green on the outside. And I just want to see the reactions I get, because I haven't used this before. This is my Art Tree Creations Copper. It's actually a metal powder. Well, yeah, it's a metal. I don't know how that's different to a mica, but it's different. So anyway, I'm gonna use that around the outside um, and see what happens with that. So we'll get started. I'm gonna put some in here. I don't need a lot because I'm only doing three in that. So that can sit there. Um, and I've got these copper leaf that I'm going to put in the center of these three. So again, I don't need a lot. So let's do, I probably only need like about, I don't know, a quarter of a cup really of resin for that. Let's put my cup down here on a paper towel to catch the drips so that's that one see how it sort of sits on top that metal it's like a molten molten metal it's really pretty the only time I've I think the only time I've used it before not the copper but the gold was like I sprinkled it on top and then heated it and it melts like when I do my my coasters I just want a little bit of gold in the center I've done that before with the gold you may remember seeing that so that's that one and then the next one is going to be the Lures in lucky green that's a paste that's it there but I'll put some resin in first so I'll need about half a cup I guess because this is going to do six coasters about half a cup and get a good amount on the end equal to what we would have um, with the mica pigments I guess pigment powders we'll give it a stir anyway see what color it comes up but I can always add a little bit more I think the last greeny one I did, I used a different pigment paste and it was more of a, a green blue. So I kind of lost my green. It's still quite transparent. See, I can st see the stick through there. I'm going to add some more paste. I'll just wipe the stick off. I'm going to add another little bit. I like it to be nice, quite an opaque sort of a color. That way I get really pretty striations. If it's too thin um, and like uh, transparent, it just kind of floats on top and I don't get those beautiful striations that I really like. It's still a little bit transparent, but I think that's okay. I don't want to put too much in. Look at that. Look at that copper sitting on top. Can you see that in there? So pretty. And then the next one is this gorgeous light green called Lime by Artie Sue. So inspired with these colours by the lovely Anne Darmody. Hi Anne! <laughs> I haven't used this one yet, look at that. But I had this colour 
Um, she just did green. I, she didn't do any copper, but I, I thought, oh, I haven't done copper for a, a very long time. Let's see what copper and lime look like together. That should be really pretty. And half a cup of resin on that one. And put your pigment powders in first so they don't fly back up at you. Hey. <laughs> Actually, I might add three quarters, or no, it's probably about two thirds of a cup actually. Because I'm doing six coasters, I probably need more than just half a cup. Look at those colours together. They're going to look divine, I hope. I hope. So the top three coasters will have copper around the outside only. And the bottom three, these three here, will just have the copper flakes in the middle. And we'll see what the difference is. I'm sort of thinking that the copper... This copper will kind of flow over the top. Hopefully, it'll, it'll flow over the top because it wants to rise to the top, that copper. And then that one's for my clear. I'll just keep topping it up. That's for my clear. And then this one is for my leaf. And again, oh, I don't need a lot. Probably... Just that will do, I would think. Jump back in. Get in. These ones are actually bought in a little book. They didn't come in a jar. They came like just in a flat packet. They were a book of leaves. And um, I just kind of broke them up and put them in an empty container that I had. I'll probably need a little bit more. Look, it goes down to hardly anything, doesn't it? All right, come on then. You can all come out. You can come out. There we go. That'll be enough. I only got three coasters to do. I don't need a lot of you. And they do compact down to pretty much nothing, but aren't those colours pretty? And then depending on how they work, like which one I prefer, I might do more, or I might do copper on the outside and copper on the inside, depending on what it looks like. This is a very thin resin though, so you know how my, my top always flows over the, the center? It's probably gonna happen, so I may add more later as well, we'll see. We shall see what happens. Now I'm just gonna make sure these are all stirred, got no little bits of dust sitting on top, mica powder dust. Look at that. Alrighty, let's do this. I just want a thin little stream around the edges here. So I'll make that into a little point. And off we go. This coaster Silicone mold I made myself. Love it. It's got the natural like rock edges. The edges don't go just straight up and down. They are rock-like. So when you take your coasters out, they look like real agates. Well, as close to real agates as you can get because the edges look like rock. Not just smooth and straight up and down. Okay, have I got everywhere? Just push it into the edges. Have I got everywhere? Can't see. Okay, there's a tiny bit left. I'll put a little bit more in this one because it hasn't got as much as the end one. Okay, there we go. Done. <clears throat> now, Hopefully I've made enough green. I'm just going to put a little puddle of green in the middle of each one. 
make sure I've got enough to go around. I guess these ones will have to have a little bit more because they don't have that copper edge. So I'm just going to divide that evenly between them. These ones can have a little bit more because they don't have that copper edge. Um, <clears throat> everything's flowing that way. I'm just going to put another stick underneath, <clears throat> under my board here. I've already got one, but now I've got two. There we go. All right, now I'm going to have to try and push you out. Because when I haven't done this, it's been all lopsided when I put my next colour in. It's just because my bench isn't exactly straight. Okay, that should do. Right, now the next one is going to be this lovely lime. Look at that. Copper wanting to sink over the top already. That's what I thought it would do. A bit of copper. A bit of copper on all of them now. Oh, copper. Lime. A bit of lime. Okay, so if you start off a little bit crooked, your bench, everything's kind of flowing that way. Let's see if I can just move everything down a bit. There you go, move down, move down, that's the way. Goodness me. All right, now, now I'm going to do about half a cup of clear inside each one there and just Push all that to the outside. Actually, it's probably more like a quarter of a cup of clear. Because my half a cup's doing two of these molds. Oh, look at the colour it changes too. Isn't it gorgeous? I think I've got too much resin. Last time I didn't make enough. I only made like 300 grams. It wasn't enough. So this time I made more, but now it looks as if I've got a bit too much. All right, look at that copper, what it's doing. Floating across the surface. That's what I thought it would do. Now, let me torch. So if you're gonna make six coasters, why not do a little bit of an experimenting, I reckon, and do half-half, I reckon. Oh, gee, I've got lots of resin left over. I don't know why. I see, last time I did 300 grams and I didn't have enough. Mind you, I was doming it. I haven't domed these nearly enough yet, so. Right, I, want to, I do want to dome them, so let's add more. Clear. So I'll take them up further. Considering the small amount of copper I put around the outside, I'm losing all my green. Look at that. It's all vanishing. Reminds me of a kiwi fruit, doesn't it? 
hopefully I'll get pretty striations I'm not getting anything just yet but hopefully with time we will let's put some more clear in there and uh, I'll just pop some more in just bring these coasters up to the the top now I was right with my calculations 400 grams for six coasters is usually pretty spot on whoops you're full okay now what I need to do is put my copper in a dripped Oh, I'll leave it there. I'll probably stick my finger in it. Okay, now here we go. Let's add just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to torch. There's lots of bubbles. Lots of bubbles. There we go. Oh, look at the edges, you guys. The green's popping through around the edges. Look at that interesting okay so now a little bit of um copper leaf in the center i just really should be using a spoon for this so to be careful i don't drip and the resin's still really really thin you know it hasn't started setting up or anything so the leaf is just going to fall straight through which is fine as long as i Hopefully keep a little bit on top. Don't know if I will, but let's put a bit more there and hopefully some of it will stay on top. Most of it, oh yeah, look, it's all covered over already. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Hey, we knew that was going to happen. See, this is where I'm, I'm too impatient. I really should just scoop that out. I don't know if I've got a spoon somewhere. Mm -hmm. I used to have a spoon. Spoon, spoon. No. Okay. I really need a spoon. Oh, hang on, I've got a little tiny plastic spoon. That'll work. I should have just waited, like, you know, waited until... Oh, I've got striations happening! I should have just waited until um, it was thickened up a little bit and then I could put my gold in, and my, my copper leaf. I've still got some clear resin there. I won't play around with it too much. I've still got some clear. Um, so I'll wait until that starts to kind of set up a little bit. Like I'm not going to wait till it's totally dry and then pour on top. I'm just going to wait till it's sort of set up a little bit and then I'm going to add some more copper um, and hopefully it won't sink as much this is another little experiment I'm trying I don't want to disrupt my striations too much that's all right it, some can stay I just want to get the majority of it out not to drip anywhere and then I'll just pop some more in later on That should work, shouldn't it? Once it starts setting up a little bit. That way the leaf will kind of set on top more than sink. Oh, I'm just raking it. Raking it. Right. I'll just leave it like that. 
because my striations are happening. It's a happening thing. Okay. This is exciting. All right, let's take you down for a close up. Um, as I said, a little bit of clear left. I'll keep that. Um, actually, what I'll yeah, oh, I'll pull my the rest of my clear resin in there. I just have to keep an eye on it to make sure it doesn't go hard. So I'm going to push it as long as I can. When it starts getting a little bit tacky, that's when I'm going to come back and add more of that leaf, that copper leaf, and see if it stays on top. Because it's easier than having to come back tomorrow and do a flood coat and add more then, because I don't like doing that. I like to get it all done now, and then tomorrow I can demold. Is it demold or unmold? Look at that, look at the shine on that. Don't drop your phone in. Oh, one day I will. Look, the green's popping up on the outside. We've got a clear center. I may even put some copper in the center of these ones too, depending on what it looks like in, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. So the greens basically come up from the sides and push that copper across. Weird. These are looking really pretty. It's not much of a change in colour. I mean, you can see it's slightly darker and then the lime. But um, yeah, really pretty. Once I get that copper in the centre and then paint the, the edges copper, that'll be really pretty. Okay, um, do you want me to film it? I don't know if I'll film it. I'll see how I feel. Anyway, I'll be back when I put in put some copper in the center. Hey guys, it's been 20 minutes. The resin is still really runny. Hasn't really thickened up so... I thought, what happens if I just break these up with a, two tweezers and um, just lay it there. I did that one already just to see what it would look like. Don't want very big bits though, so I'll try and break it up a bit. have to make sure that my little tweezers are clean and dry each time so that it just sits on top spread it out because it looks nice and shiny like that doesn't it when it's just sort of sitting on top we don't need a lot and then what I thought I'd do is just pour a little bit of clear resin over the top and see if it'll just kind of stay on top because it's such a it's so light it's just you know a little a little flake I just have to keep cleaning my little tweezers though so they don't get too sticky just floating them on top really how's that look Pretty. And you can put as much or as little on as you want, I guess. You do use much less. You know the first time I mixed up, what, three, three big bits of leaf? And it all just got sunk and lost. So this is probably a better way of doing it, actually. I don't want them too big though. Let's put a couple more on this one. Now the only problem is, I guess, if they stick up higher than the rest of the surface. So that's why I'm going to pour a little bit of resin over the top. 
hopefully it's enough just to coat them but not enough to make them sink and I don't know if that'll work it might not work just have to wait and see we've got some really pretty striations happening you've got enough basically just touching it to the surface and it should should let go and just sit there all right a little bit more for you It's handy to do it inside the lid actually. No, let go. You try not to get resin on your tongs. Alright, I think that looks pretty even. Don't need to go overboard with it. Love it. Now we just have to hope. Now, I'm not going to just pour that on. I'm going to put a little bit into my paper cup here and I'm actually just going to get my stick and just drizzle. Oh, it's sinking. No, oh, that's okay. Just kind of want to drizzle it on top because I don't want it sticking out, you know, poking through the top. It does need to just be a little bit wet. Are you sinking? Oh, if worst comes to worst, you could do another a coat over the top. But I really don't want to do that. I'd rather just have it done now. I guess they are going to sink a little bit, aren't they? Hopefully we won't lose too much of the, the shine, the shimmer. Because as they sink, they get the green going over the top of them. Oh, see that one? That's got green going over it. No! You're not supposed to do that. Or do I have to keep putting on top now? Maybe just leave it on top and don't put anything over it. Because see, it's going green now. It's getting the, um, the resins flowing over the top of the, the flakes. I might just have to sit it on top like that. This was supposed to be short. I wasn't supposed to come in here for a long time and do it. My coffee's getting cold. Um, so I don't know, maybe I just needed to wait longer before putting the foil on uh, until maybe the, the resin's starting to thicken more. More experimentation will be required, obviously. Because I don't want to lose all my, my copper. Mm, all right, I'll just leave it like that. I think the more resin I put on it, it's just going to push it down. I might come back a little bit later and, and put some more over the the top it's still as I said you know the resin still look at that it's still really really thin so it obviously what's well, now it's now half an hour okay we'll just have to keep a check on it hey write down how long it takes <laughs> for it to um to set up a little bit more all right I'll um I'll see you tomorrow for the unmolding anyway morning it's the next day for me anyway. <laughs> right. Now, I must say, I'm a little bit disappointed with all the copper in the middle. I got a bit carried away. I kept adding and adding and adding and figured, you know, it would stay at the top. But it kept sinking. So I will 
have to practice doing that um, and getting the, the copper to to stay on top uh, but you, you guys know that sometimes I do a flood coat and put more on and I probably should have done that because it just looks a bit like it's too much <laughs> too much um, and I've got a little bit of sanding to do along the tops here because I didn't fill this one all the way it wasn't doming so if you don't dome it you get that little lip there that you'll have to sand right let's have a look at the back not really expecting very much but I'll go anyway oh it looks like a kiwi fruit what are all those little black dots I wonder what that is weird so yeah not much to look at at the back so definitely the that will be the front um you know I had really nice striations they kind of vanished like the, you can see a little bit of them but they're not as defined as some of my other striations with other brands it is nice and um hard though like it's not bendy the next day the u resin so we'll just put that over there I've got these little cups sitting up here so when I paint the edges they can sit up like that <laughs> actually maybe I can zoom you out a little bit so that you can see them sitting up there how's that right sort of okay let's have a look those will both be the same let's have a look at this one pop him out Again, I'm not real sure about how I feel about it. <laughs> this didn't exactly do what I was expecting. I was hoping it would make copper striations, but it hasn't. It's kind of all just made a ring around the center. Look at that. It's very shiny, though. Very shiny and glossy. That kind of looks like a, a shot from, like when you're flying over like a, a coral reef or an atoll or something like that, doesn't it? And we've got that little clear center, which is pretty. Let's have a look at the back. Oh, look, there's my copper. That's what I was expecting, how the copper would be on the outside and have little striations across the top. Oh, okay, maybe we use this side. That's actually really pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I like that. Look, hello, peekaboo. Okay, so that will be the top. Happy with that? Better than that, hey? I mean, I guess that's interesting as well, but I think for me that's that's better. I prefer that. And then when I paint my edge with my copper pen, uh, that'll just define that edge. So, right, I like that one. Let's do this one. <clears throat> Maybe we can have 50% happy. See, that's why I did two different styles. Um, because, you know, if one doesn't work out, then at least you've got the backup. <laughs> and um, there's no point, I think, doing two, uh, doing everything the same if, if you're experimenting, because then you might not be happy with it. Look at that copper shine. And we've got the clear center. So you don't always have to have something in the center, do you? You can have your your sort of big thing around the outside or your copper and then just leave the middle plane maybe I could do that more of that hey I'll get this one out anyway I'll get them all out yeah this just looks like a kiwi fruit <laughs> Oh, little black dots. I don't know where they came from. I seriously don't. Now, this one had a little bit of overflow just there because I kept adding just there, a little bit of overflow. I kept adding copper. Really not happy with these. Plus, you can see how the copper's raised. So that's not a good look. So I, th I think I'll just put these down to experimenting and I tend to keep one, like for an experiment, and I just chuck the other two out. I don't think there's any point in, in keeping them. Um, let me get the last one out. 
pops out really easily from my mold my gorgeous mold that I made but you guys let me know do you like the front with all that copper sitting on top it looks like a little bushy atoll coral reef type thing or do you prefer the back with that ring of copper around the edge and then those little copper striations really pretty all right um, I'm gonna get them set up and paint the edges um, I do need to do a little bit of sanding first but I will just use my my little copper actually these ones aren't too bad these are pretty much domed oh there's a little bit there that I need to to file but um, I'll just use my my copper pen Oops, we're not going to focus. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to use my copper pen on the edges um, and then I'll come back to you when it's done. All right, so see you then.